before we move on and explore more weird shit, because all, all I got was the chandelier. The chandelier. Uh, <laughs> we should probably check out the other stuff in the room, yeah? The hell is that? Cocaine? Are these monks no Oh, no, man. Jesus is the only high you need. Jesus Christo. No snorto. <laughs> That's right. That is, it's in the scriptures, y'all. Salt. Oh, it was salt. Salt. Essential in the winter months when ice jams the hinges on the doors and windows, especially in this wing of the abbey. Oh, uh, now I have salt. I mean, I always had salt. The salt was in me the entire time. Paper. The second most coveted commodity. Come on, come on, come on, me. Yep. Amongst the abbey's copyists. Come on, me. No, come on, you. <laughs> Novices. Like you don't have access to the first of these prized possessions, ink. Ooh, but we do have access to... to what is that, a compass? What is this? Let me, let me get out of this closet. <laughs> let me come out of the closet and check and see what this is. You'd bet your rosary that the compass belongs to Father Ezekiel and that Giuseppe borrowed it for one of his pranks. Yeah, all right, see, I knew it was a compass. Not a compass, a compass. A compass tells you directions. A compass? This is just like that video where Vanilla Ice is like, no, it's dun 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 Not dun 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 it, it doesn't matter. What am I talking about? Sure, I won't sit at my desk anymore. Let's see. What's that on Giuseppe's desk? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. An empty spool of thread. Which is now mine, okay. Oh, that's the exit. These are books. Only Toribio, Kine's favorite copyist, is allowed to touch the books on those shelves. That seems counterproductive, but okay. Nah, the other day. When Brother Botia was sleeping and Hines was not in his study, I snuck in through this window. It's a bit risky and not an easy feat. But, oh, the pleasure that comes from knowing that I could steal something from our superior if I so desired. Did he just start his sentence with Nya? Nya! <laughs> I mean, I'm very aware that's a context clue on how to get through the window later, but, like, possible Skeletor origin story? It rings whenever Father Ines calls for Toribio, his favorite pupil. I am never going to be able to pronounce anything correctly in this game. So is that then the clue on how I'm supposed to get him out? Ooh, here we go. Did he even try to help Giuseppe? No, the dirty rat. Yeah. <laughs> See? All coming together now. Brother Toribio. Scriptorium cohort by chance, observant at will, and son of a bitch by right. I guess we're not gonna... All right. He's only a few years older than you, but the dear Lord has decided to bless him with an extreme tonsure. Uh, we've seen these before, haven't we? Okay, so we're gonna learn nothing new from that, but can I talk to him and learn something? Say, Toribio? About last night. Nothing happened last night. Nothing. We shared a kiss. That was it. Do you think that Hines knew what was going to happen? You take that back. Father Hines is a saint, not a murderer. Where's the library? I don't know. Come on, you often disappear with Brother Hines. I'm sure that's where he takes you. Of course. I'm the best copyist in the Abbey. And who else would he trust to copy the secret books? And? He always blindfolds me, just like last night. It's better that way. I won't have to resist the temptation of reading heretic texts. When Giuseppe started to bleed, you did nothing to help him. It was the devil's doing. That was Satan's blood. It could have contaminated me. I helped him. Then get away from me. Later, upon returning to my cell, I thought I heard whipping in yours. That's not true. Do you remember that the abbot prohibited self-flagellation? Do you? Why? Why can't a pious man pay for his evil deeds? What evil deed did you perform last night? I thought nothing had happened. Roasted. He got you in a corner. He got you in a... Oh, wait, what? I have more questions. A 
about last night? Nothing happened last night. Nothing. Nothing. Explanation, yeah. What do you think happened exactly? Didn't I tell you already? It was the devil's doing. He has possessed that book. The devil possessed the, the book? The devil specialized in possessing Yeah, people. that doesn't make any sense. Really that naive. He can possess the very air you breathe. I heard that about two years ago, in a village far away, the devil possessed a hog so that it would devour the son of a noble. That's amazing. <laughs> Crazy. What, what happened to that hog? What are you copying? <laughs> a text lacking in righteousness. Hortensius by Cicero. If the book is everything you say it is, why are you copying it? Because that cursed father Ezekiel is contaminating the soul of our dear abbot. He manipulates him with his science and his art to lead him off the righteous path. I wouldn't rule out the use of magic either. Art? Yeah, I don't trust art either with all of its tentacles and naked girls and oh yeah no hentai's art guys that's the joke that's the joke internet although it's not a joke it's art but was it not the very same book that led saint augustine of hippo to embrace faith what's that oh yes yes but god can write straight on crooked lines that does not prove that the book is not impure furthermore Saint Augustine was a sinner before he was a saint. Grant me chastity and continence, but not yet. Pervert. <laughs> I might steal that line. All right, yeah. You must be thrilled now that Giuseppe is dead. No one will ever call you Botillo again. Shh, remember, we know nothing. Calm down, I'm not going to tell anyone. Anywhere. Only God knows who is watching us and where from. Now I'm no mischievous sort, but if I was, I'd use that shit against him. Now to figure out how. You must be thrilled now that Giuseppe is dead. No one will ever call you. Shh, didn't I just ask that? Insult. What was that, Brother Botillo? I can't hear you. You're acting just like him. I expected more out of you. Oh, interesting. There's like a different version of that combo. Okay. Bookshelf. May I take some books from the shelf? Absolutely not. It's time to write, not to read. Ugh. Ugh. Being a monk is lame to town. Population you, man. I'm out of here. It is winter, and I am... Let's look at this. Its height prevents others from spying on you while you work. I guess I'm not doing anything with that. So that's where I came from. That dude looking very, very kingly. But kind of tired. <laughs> it's hard being a monarch. May I come in, Father Hines? My door is always open to you, Brother Yago. Hey, dude. That's a nice Tower of Babel behind you. As you approach him, you notice something. The key that Ines carried last night before he blindfolded you. Interesting. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I guess we're going to go through all this. I don't understand why you always favor Brother Cheribio. You are the better pupil, no doubt. But you'll be better off if you draw a little attention to yourself. On the other hand, commending Brother Toribio helps me win over those he sucks up to. The observance. What do you think of Father Ezekiel? He stands up to the observance and understands the world through reason. So brave and yet so naive. The only reason that governs this world is that of your father, the devil. I do prefer him over that gang of lunatics, no doubt. But I must proceed with caution and not show him too much esteem. By the way, he should be showing me how that printing press of his works sometime soon. For the record, I love how old-timey people, let's just say old-timey people in general, the way people say devil is incredible. Devil? It's always the devil's fault. It's just the inflection. It's one of my favorite affectations Don't in the world. Don't you think our abbot is a saint? Oh, no doubt. He has a view of the future, and would certainly embrace anything that Father Ezekiel and the like propose. 
But he knows that without the observance, he would lose his grip over the monastery. That's why he tries to please them. And he's not the only one. I know you're not fond of Father Diego and the other observants. How could I be? Their insistence on returning to the rule of St. Francis is ridiculous. Their idea of poverty makes me laugh. You need money to preserve the knowledge of books and a full stomach to think with clarity. But you pretend to like them. I must. If not, they'd rally against me in my library. They'd find out what I'm hiding sooner or later, and they wouldn't like it. What makes you so attached to Ursus? His gratitude, just as yours, bonds me to you. You saved Ursus's life as well? What had he done? Oh, I, I don't even remember. You've forgotten? When the Inquisition wants to execute someone, they don't need an excuse. Who cares? I care? That's probably a huge plot point that is going to be very important in the coming chapters. Oof. Yeah, I... Boy, is he not going to want to talk about this. Okay. You said you would grant Giuseppe a Christian burial. Have you done so already? Yeah, yeah, Ursus sure, sure, took sure. took care of it before the morning prayers. Don't worry about it. I'll pray for him. Don't waste your prayers. Keep them for you and for me. But send them to your father, Satan. Beg what? him what? to grant us the ability to read that book. What? Are, what? <laughs> oh, so well, you're at it. Try writing a letter to the devil. See if that works, too. Where were we last night? It's best if you don't know. Why? You are my most prized possession. I don't want to lose you. What if I had read the book? Would you have left me to die? Not in the slightest. I wanted you to see the power of the book. But you're not ready yet. What if Toribio had read the book? That coward! He would never have even tried. I only took him to incriminate him. I was afraid he'd badmouth me to the observance. Now he won't dare. Damn. Also, yeah, let's talk about this why. The book has a why on its cover. What does it mean? I don't know, Brother Yaga. My name is Miguel. Yago is only the name you gave me after helping me escape the Inquisition. It starts with a why. Don't jump to conclusions. Uh, <laughs> maybe we should? I'm fascinated by this. I genuinely, I mean, it's, here's the problem with this. It's obvious, at least to me right now, that this is prior to becoming immortal, right? And all this eventually is going to lead up to being immortal. I get all that, but it doesn't make it less crazy. <laughs> it doesn't make any of this less crazy. What's happening right now? It's still mysterious. Do you know anything about my father? Yes. He rebelled against God and turned into Satan. He stayed in the shadows for centuries, but one day he will rise. I'm talking about my human <laughs> I father. I was about to say. The Duke of Fuentenegra. You don't have a human father. I don't follow. In order to avoid further problems with the Inquisition, the Duke confessed that you weren't his son. Years before, an old man who claimed to be a messenger of the King of Naples spent a night at your father's estate. The next morning, he had disappeared, leaving behind all of his belongings. His clothes were lying on the bed, covered in blood. And among the clothes and blood, they found a happy and healthy baby, you. The Duke, who hadn't managed to conceive an heir or bastard, kept quiet and gave you his family name. But no one ever heard from that old man again. It was all the devil's doing, no doubt. An act of your true father. Now here's the thing. Did the dad and the Inquisition come up with that elaborate story? Or is that like an even crazier thing that actually did happen? Right? This is where this game's at in my mind. Is that, did the Inquisition convince him to say all that? Or is that really a thing that happened? I don't know. I, this, it could be anything in this game. You have denied it countless times, but what if the Inquisition is still looking for me? The plan worked perfectly, Yago. My name is Miguel. Your name is whatever I say it is. Damn! Miguel de Fuentenegra was devoured by a diabolical pig in that dungeon three years ago. That's what the Inquisition believes, and <laughs> I can't think of a better story. 
Sometimes I dream of returning to Fentanegra and... Don't be a fool. What if someone recognized you? As I've said before, I didn't give you a new life for you to throw it away in vain. Your place is here. At least until we decipher that book. When you saved me, you were already master copyist of Santa Brigida. And Fentanegra is more than 20 days away. How did you find out about me? One of my most grateful pupils is now a scribe of the Holy Office. He knows of my commitment to understanding ancient books, unknown languages, and lost knowledge. When the Inquisition set their sights on you, he contacted me. I left immediately and arrived just in time to save you. Convenient. Possibly untrue, but convenient. I feel like I'm wasting my time here in Santa Brigida. Your gift for languages is very useful. And it will be so even more in the future. Well, I've got my own ideas for the future. Speak. Oh, Jesus. Don't do this. Don't talk about marriage. No, oh, don't think about any of this. This is bad news, man. You're just letting the villain know, like, all your... Oh, boy. You know how much I enjoy ancient mythology. Maybe I could focus on writing about it, like... The fact that I allow you to read certain books does not mean you can flaunt this knowledge. Anyone who speaks of pagan myths will automatically become a target of the Inquisition. Do you wish to go through that again? Or do you have any better ideas? I'd like to follow in Father Ezekiel's footsteps and do something with my hands. I like the forge. To see iron come to life like Vulcan, the blacksmith deity. Your talent lies not in your hands, but in your head. I will not let you put it to waste. Any other ideas? Duh, maybe I could go evangelize. I like how we're just going down the list. He's like, no, you can't do that. He's like, what if I try? Nope, can't do that. What about? Nope, can't do that. Since I understand all languages, maybe I could be a missionary and evangelize the Americas. What part of I am Satan's son have you not yet understood? <laughs> Any other ideas? <laughs> Listen to me. You are the devil's son. There's devil's nothing you can do son. about it. Make the most of the gift he's given you. But how? His is the book that killed Giuseppe. Perhaps when you decipher it, we won't have to hide anymore. Then why don't you let me give it a shot? I must first test it on other subjects. I can't risk losing you. Oh, I didn't get to ask about marriage? But what if I meet another immortal one day? And it turns out that she's not right for me at all. But for some reason, because we're both immortals, we have to stay together. Shouldn't we get married? I could use a mirror to read the book's reflection. Just like Perseus did to avoid turning into stone when looking at Medusa. Oh, nonsense. Mythology is nothing but myths, legends, and lies. But the power of the book is real. You've seen it. If the book is my father's work, why would he kill me? Because the book is not your father. Does it have eyes? Does it know who you are? Can we be sure it will recognize you? Can we know if it has a will of its own? Man, this Satan shit's hard. <laughs> this is too convoluted for me. Well, I'm willing to take that risk. I would protect you with my own life. If you want to risk your own, you'll have to do it over my dead body. Yo, okay. Back to the future and then marriage. Ah, uh, yes. I, I think I'm not cut out for the priesthood. I'd like to get married. You know, meet a woman and... And? Do you think I'm a virgin? I will give you, not one, but many women. When you reach the priesthood I have planned for you. But let time take its course. What else do you have in mind? Damn. D damn! I don't even... I mean, I guess we're good? <laughs> I like I like how that was the last question. He is completely shut up now. He was like, yeah, yeah, no, no, I'll give you plenty of women. And I'm like, oh, oh all right, I guess I don't have any more concerns. I really quickly shut down the conversation. Uh, So I can go this way or I can go this way. What is this way? Ooh. We searched for the door to the secret library throughout the entire monastery. Unfortunately, to no avail. Oh, all right. So that's a that's a no way. No way, no how. Good morning, Father Ezekiel. The day appreciates the epithet, but doesn't deserve it. 
What happened? Did you know that Queen Isabella is coming tomorrow to see my printing press in action? And in just one hour, I must perform a trial before Brother Hines, here, in this very workshop. No. Nobody ever <laughs> no. informs us Razophores. Well, there will be no trial. Somebody stole all my letter E-types. Huh? I won't call for him. He's always so busy, he won't even remember. Maybe you just misplaced the letters. I heard about a condition called Listexia that... I never make mistakes. The letter thief, in all his clumsiness, tore his habit on one of the pins of the printing press. Less Dexia? Remaining E. You said they stole all letters except one, right? Yes. One was stuck in the mold and I haven't had the time to pull it out. Here, in case it helps you find the rest. Interesting. Okay. Oh, by the way, do you remember a secret library? Although Ezekiel is your friend, you'd rather not betray Father Ines. Trust revealing where you were last night. Did you know that sometimes I have the strangest dreams? In fact, I dreamt that I was in a secret library within the monastery. Do you have any idea where that kind of library would be if it smooth. were real? Smooth, smooth, real smooth. No. Although, if I had more information, we could deduce its hypothetical location. Yo, what Notes. if I... Sometimes the Lord uses dreams to remind us of things we don't know we know. Uh, what if I plop... Oh, I guess I can't. I'm thinking, though, when I get out of the conversation, uh, I use the choir chanting and the windows to unlock the location. Do you have any idea who the thief could be? I only know it's not me. The rest could all be guilty. I don't think it's him, but could it be Father Hines? I doubt it. He supported me all along. Although the printing press would put an end to his privileges as master copyist. So who knows? What about Giuseppe? He's the Abbey's greatest prankster, no doubt. And he's been missing all morning. I'm sure he's up to no good. You remain silent and realize that if it was Giuseppe who stole the letters, it will be very hard to find them. <laughs> Cause he's dead. What if Turibio did it? Hmm. Could be. That radical observant disapproves of everything I do, although he is a coward. Would he dare to do something like that? What if this is lay brother Ursus's doing? He would only do such a thing following Brother Hines's instructions. Poor Ursus. It's as if someone had removed his free will. I suppose Father Emigio is above all suspicion. It's not easy for our prior. Caught between those radical observants and the knowledge that progress is good for the community. If it was him, rough times await us all. What if I did it? Okay. Act like you're confessing. Father Ezekiel, I confess. I stole all your letters. <laughs> Brother Iago, you're as bad at acting as you are noble in spirit. Father Diego can't stand you. Another fanatic. But his excessive observance of the rule of St. Francis has kept him far from the baths since last spring. My workshop would still reek of his nauseating stench. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about this printing press problem. Oh my god! The problem is that there's so much to talk about. What exactly are those types you say were stolen? They're small metal letters that I place in line. When pressed against the paper, they print the ink. You could try writing without the letter E. I could write an entire book. Oh, yeah? Please start. Thank God Almighty for visitors arriving on this day at the Holy Catholic Sanctum that is Santa Brigida. Ha! <laughs> you said the. Roasted? I mean, it was pretty good. He could have just done t, and I think people would have gotten it. How did you get Her Majesty to visit the Abbey? Ever since my friend Johannes invented it, the printing press has enchanted nobles and commoners alike. And the queen is no exception. 
Being aware of this fact, and after receiving approval from our abbot, I sent her a missive stating that Santa Brigida housed the first printing press in Spain. Now I wish I'd never had the nerve. Why do you want to test it with Father Hines? As master copyist, he must approve quality of all printed materials. But that won't happen now. The meeting is in less than an hour, and I don't have letters E. I won't call for him. He's always so busy, he won't even remember. How did you get a printing press? The inventor, my friend Johannes, sent it to me. I worked with him during my European travels years ago. He was going to send it to Segovia, but I convinced him by saying I would make the most of it, that I would show it to important people, which won't happen tomorrow if the Queen arrives and I print Isabla and Ferdinand monarchs of Spain. I don't know. I've read some 14th, 15th century texts. That shit seems pretty right on to me. They're leaving all sorts of letters and words out. Do you oppose those who practice a strict observance of the rule of St. Francis? Not at all. They are the ones who oppose common sense, which is the tool our good lord gave man to aid in his survival. Diego, Toribio, and all of those loonies want to take us back into the Dark Ages. We're in the 15th century for crying out loud. You are a man of science. Isn't that somehow at odds with faith? Science is the study of divine creation. How could it be at odds with faith? What is at odds with almost everything is human understanding that never manages to grasp the meaning of our good Lord or his creation. That's what science is for to enlighten our understanding and bring us closer to God. Is Father Hines closer to you or to the observance? It's hard to say. On the one hand, he helps me with my research. On the other, he praises useless fanatics like Toribio. But Father Hines is an intelligent man. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Yeah, no, he does. He's very aware. Okay, so let's do this. And hit him with the, actually, with the choir. Tell Ezekiel of your recent findings and the secret prayer you could hear the hymns of the night prayers. Ezekiel thinks for a moment, touching his beard. He mumbles several theories, but can't pinpoint a specific place. He needs another hint. Windows. Yeah, these demon windows? Wait a second. Those windows? You could hear hymns? Ezekiel looks at his floor plan and finds the spot. If I'm not mistaken, it must be in the east wing of the abbey. The door has to be... Hmm. That's strange. It should be where Paolo de San Leocadio's painting is. Secret room! That's easy. This is the painting? This? This giant door-sized painting from hell is the one we're like, well, uh, it couldn't be there. You kidding me right now? One of the many baptismal fonts given to Santa Brigida by the Chancellor of Castile. Can I do anything? Oh, oh. Beneath the thick layer of ice, there's a small ornamental plaque possibly made of silver. Anything else? Ooh, terrifying face. Coat of arms of Don Peo Lopez de Ayea, Grand Chancellor of Castile and benefactor of Santa Brigida. Do you think I can use the salt? You pour some sea salt over the ice and after a tedious wait. Magic. That's how that works. You pull up your sleeves and try to strip off the silver plaque with your bare hands. Nothing. It won't budge. What if I use this? What? This. The plate. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what I would do then, but I guess we'll go back. The gates of hell. Yeah, no, that makes sense. They seem like the fangs of an enormous leviathan. You recall one of your favorite verses from Dante's Inferno, which you read recently. 
All hope abandon ye who enter here. It's a small metal plaque, which... Pardon, can I do this? Yo, you stick the sharp end of the compass between the plaque and the painting, and... Uh, I assume I need that thing back. Shoot. Against door logic, the keyhole is on the frame. Yeah, I don't have anything that looks like... Well, let's see. Nope. But... All right, well, I know how to get in there, it looks like. You know why I'm in a monastery? I sanded down the handle of a torch holder at my father's house and split the wood in two, but used molasses to hold it together. When one of father's concubines put a torch in it, the torch holder broke and the torch fell onto her. She survived, but never again did father wish to lie with her. Damn, what? <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Good to, good to know. You know why I'm in a I sanded down when what she said What an odd thing to remember. So can I not But it won't budge. So what is the option? You think I can mess with this in some way? This hat this has to be it. All right, we'll figure it out later. Oh, no, oh, damn. Okay, so how do we help him find the letter E? Hmm. It's like freaking Sesame Street up in here. How many E's are missing? Three E's. Oh, oh, oh. You wonder what this tube is. That is a periscope. Invented, invented by my by friend, friend Katie Perry. truly. Inside, there are two mirrors that, placed at 45 degree angles, allow the user to see without being seen. Unfortunately, one of the mirrors broke several days ago, and I haven't had the time to replace it. Please, take it. And if you manage to fix it, all the better. Oh, okay. Cool. Nothing else here? Oh, you know what we didn't do? Hold on. Explore his body. His eyes reveal determination, while the specks and dark circles speak of long nights at work. Wait a second. Why is he wearing his eyeglasses? Uh, good question? You've never seen him without his tool belt. He wears it to mass and divine offices, scandalizing the more orthodox monks. In his own words, I present myself to God as what I am, a man who belongs in a workshop, an artisan at his eternal service. Got a little bag there, nothing? Anything on his hands? Ooh, dude's wearing sandals? It's freezing out, dude! Sandals and socks? Ooh, he's too hip for me. Even though no rule of St. Francis forbids it, Father Zekul is the only person who wears socks in the winter. He's crazy. He says he started doing it after visiting the cold, tectonic countries. Anything else? What am I... Oh, oh, his hair. Oh. Every winter, Father Zekul lets his hair grow out, which covers his tonsure. He agrees that the Lord brought him to this world to think. If I let an absurd rule freeze my mind, I'd only stray from the path he chose for me. Okay. Father Sickle's workbench. Of all the tools on the bench, you choose the chisel. Chisel, I choose you! Alright. Oh, uh, we got... Let's see this. You search among the varied utensils and decide to borrow the long rope. I'm sure it all, I'm sure it all pays off in some way. An 
excellent metal polisher, for God's sake. Uh, am I supposed to polish the chisel? No. The plate? The wood. Oh. What good is polishing wood? I don't know. Look, I was just excited it was working. All right, well, for now, I'm not doing anything. Also, are those just teeth? Metal teeth? I got a window. Oh, come on, window. Come on, window. There's a cold draft coming from the window. It's strange that Ezekiel hasn't come up with a solution. Huh. What, what would the solution be? I wonder. I simply do not know. Can't, I guess we could try a rope. Could I use this? No, I'm not doing anything right now. Okay, well. There's one thing I want to do hmm. before we do anything. What say you? Two. Oh, come on. Give me that. Okay, let's do the chisel, maybe? Oh, I knew that would work. Levering it with a chisel, you managed to pull out the plaque. Hell yes. Now that isn't the key. So what? I just don't know. All right, let's go back. Maybe we polish the plaque? Because it looked really dirty, right? Okay. Yo! Oh, God, that's the worst sound in the world. Also... Oh, all right, just made it shiny, I guess. Can I just look at it? Silver so polished and sparkling that you can see your own reflection. Oh, do you think? I was going to say put in the periscope, but is that how that works? Is this the mirror? Does this count as a mirror? Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, no, this is this is how this works. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That that works. How much you want to bet? The one thing that it told me, like, oh, so you can't spy on people. How much you want to bet this is how I spy on people? Right here. Perfect. You can spy on Toribio from here. But how could you prompt him to reveal where he's stolen, uh, hidden the stolen letters? I like how it very, we're just like, yep, nope, it's that guy. Toribio did it. That's who did it. He's a dick. He is a dick. And we know he did it. That's that's all. There is no investigation. We took no time. We're just like, he's a dick. So he must have done it. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a broadcast. We 